Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro 10 are both coming to the iPad. Starting on May 23rd, you'll be able to download Final Cut Pro on any M1 powered iPad, that's the M1 iPad Air or the M1 or M2 iPad Pro, and you'll be able to run Final Cut with some incredible features, multicam already built in, titles, transitions, you'll be able to edit with the Apple Pencil, and a ton more. Now you don't get this included if you've purchased Final Cut Pro for your Mac. This is going to be a subscription-based app, $5 a month or $50 a year for either Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro 10. If you want both, that would be $10 or $100 per year. The fact that Apple announced Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro 10 in a press release less than a month before WWDC, their huge developers conference that's seen by millions around the world, is a pretty wild thing. That means there's gonna be some huge announcements at WWDC, possibly that AR VR headset that keeps getting rumored. But Final Cut Pro is something that so many people have been asking for on the iPad. And I think Final Cut Pro finally delivers on the desktop class power and experience that Apple has been talking about on the iPad Pro. Like I mentioned, you'll be able to edit multi-cam clips right here directly on the iPad, adjust the angles, and it looks like it's an incredibly powerful editor. And with the Apple Pencil and on M2 iPad Pro, you'll be able to use Apple Pencil hover features. Some might even prefer editing on the iPad Pro than on a Mac. I know I edit podcasts on iPad Pro and I really prefer the Apple Pencil experience there. The interface and UI does look specifically designed for iPad and touch, which makes sense. But I'm curious what features will be left out from the iPad version. Now, Apple is saying you'll be able to edit HDR footage and because iPad Pro captures ProRes, you'll actually be able to edit that ProRes footage right here in Final Cut on iPad, pretty incredible. There's a live drawing feature in Final Cut on iPad, which means you can draw directly on the screen with your Apple Pencil and Final Cut on iPad will actually animate that in real time. That's pretty amazing. You'll have access to that angle editor, even to view multiple angles at a time right there on iPad. And it looks like there's gonna be some really cool AI features here in Final Cut Pro, like background removal. Even without a green screen, you'll be able to remove the background from a subject and use that video, lay it on top of others. And there's going to be an auto crop feature. This is really big in apps like CapCut where it will follow the subject around or intelligently follow the subject. This way you can crop a vertical clip for like YouTube Shorts or TikTok right here from your full length content on iPad and it will adjust that crop automatically. That's gonna be pretty sweet. And while Final Cut on iPad Pro is gonna have some built-in titles and effects and backgrounds, it does say on the website that Apple will support third-party content soon. That means things like plugins, lower thirds, and other animations from makers like Motion VFX. It looks like you'll be able to use those plugins in Final Cut Pro on iPad. And because you can shoot ProRes video on iPad, it looks like there'll be some granular controls if you're gonna be capturing video directly on the iPad, even as much as white balance, manual settings, monitor audio levels, how much time is left for recording, and more. Now, it looks like you'll be able to start a Final Cut project on iPad and then send that project to a Mac. Probably won't work backwards, where you could start a project on Mac and then send it to the iPad. It also remains to be seen whether or not you'll be able to use external drives, like external SSDs, to store your footage and edit it in Final Cut Pro on iPad. That's a huge feature and what I do all the time in Final Cut Pro on my Mac is edit off external SSDs and network drives. Apps like LumaFusion on iPad do let you use external drives, so it is possible from a software standpoint whether or not Apple will build that in right from version one remains to be seen. Either way, this is a huge deal. Final Cut Pro finally coming to the iPad. You can download it May 23rd, $5 a month subscription or $50 a year. Really looks like it's gonna have some powerful features right off the bat, so I'm excited to try it. And the iPad might actually be a pro device now with Apple's pro apps directly on it. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Lots of news coming out, especially with WWDC coming June 5th. Big keynote, sure there's gonna be lots of announcements, maybe even that VR headset. Thanks for tuning in, I'll catch you next time.